Welcome Tauruses to your own Taurus season. Wow, congratulations Tauruses. Okay, Tauruses, you're in your own season. All right, so the name of the game is changing for you Tauruses because it's your birthday season. It is your zodiac year and you are about, ladies and gentlemen, I advise people to um, really connect and check on ask for your birthday readings it's not too late for you tauruses to ask for your birthday readings with your birthday readings tauruses what i do is that i look with the tauric veil what is coming up for you in every month of the year so you as a taurus i look from may right back to april um in 2021 and that gives you a bowl to bowl uh, situation that is coming out every every month so you Tauruses along with the monthly readings and the rest of these readings full moon monthlies you will know Tauruses you will be on top of your game okay I have a lot of clients um, that uh, um, do their birthday readings and they get a year multiple commentate not only that but you get the six houses so you know what is coming up in your friendship zone, you know what's coming up in your money house, you know what's coming up with business, you know what's coming. You are aware of all the 12 ounces. So that reading, um, I think it's like $85. And that reading, a lot of people are so happy. People comes back like every year for their birthday readings. Every year because it, they're like... Um, Miss Cathy, it's, it's like on point. Everything that you advise me is what comes up. And this is how I use my gift to help a lot of people to understand. And especially um, business people, it is good for you to do that year um, situation at the beginning of your year or whenever your business begin. Because what happened is that you get a video of everything that is going to be coming out and everything is recorded and you can keep that link as long as you want and what we do is that i go really deep in your personal issues and where your money where the blocks is so your money reading so you get a whole Tarek of the month and then you get your money reading you get your relationship readings and then you get your 12 house and this is just so powerful. This is what, you know, a lot of people um, choose and, you know, their life, you know, a lot of people said, oh, my God, thank God for you, because my life has been um, shifting and the changes that is coming in. If I was not aware of what was coming up, I wouldn't make the right decision. So Taurus, get on it. Um, it is just eighty five dollars Buy yourself a gift. And this is a gift of a lifetime. Trust me. Um, a lot of people who send, who buy and give people a gift card for a, a, a birthday reading, they are amazed. And these people come back every year because they get so much advice that guides them throughout these years and how they change their abundance and prosperity and how they get the proper information to lead them in the new direction. This is a powerful year. For you, Tauruses, you can choose the crystal of the week you were born in. Okay, I'm going to give you um, the energies of the week, the, the dates of the week. Choose that crystal in the week you were born in. And you can choose any other crystal that you want to, to look at. Okay, any other crystal. So you got to choose two of these crystals. You can see the link below. If you are not yet a member, I think that these are given to everyone because um, they're the season reading. I think they're given to everyone. So choose the first. Uh, I would say choose the second abundant because the second abundant you get to see quartals, the extending of the quartals, the extended. Uh, um, I th you get monthly quartals and uh, the extended of the full moon. So I would say choose the second abandonment and once you become, and it's just $5 a month, people, that is two cups of coffee per day, $5 a month, that is nothing. And you get so much extended and you can go through the archive of the extended for years 
um, before this all of it is now in the archive all right so remember you can choose the crystal in the week that you were born when your birthday comes up but you can also choose any other crystal that uh, um, your um, I yourself urge you to choose because there's a message there for you So happy birthday. Happy birthday to all you Tauruses. I love you guys so much. Um, you are my sister sign. <laughs> all right. So some sort of a family issue is going to be coming up for the people who were born in the week of uh, uh, 20th of April to 26th of April. Um, you are going to be having family issues in this year, right on back until um, 2022 some sort of a family issues is coming up for you guys so be aware of this so, so what is um, happening is that uh, um, whoever is born between the 26th until um, the 28th until the 26th of April you are dealing with a whole lot of family issues and these family issues the situation that you have to resolve and it is Mars in Pisces Mars in Pisces and if you recognize so if you have a family business there is going to be a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues okay if you work for a family business a whole lot of problems a whole lot of issue um, um financial problems in the family is going to be coming up for you guys go and remember to check out your reading for from the weekly reading, your birthday reading is coming up in the week of uh, April 20th to 26th. Go check out your birthday reading. That is going to help you with this reading. Here we go. This is the reason why you are having issues in the family. So some of you could have a lover, okay? Um, and this person have entered your family or their family. And there are a lot of problems that is going to be transpiring. And it's because of someone who is married in your family, okay? And people are going to be recognized how really deceptive this person is. So, Taurus says, you got to recognize that if you are married, there could be a third party, okay? If you're married, you could, there could be a third party. So whether or not you are a man or a woman, if you are married, there could be a third party in your marriage or your relationship. They're going to be recognizing and seeing that there is a third party. Whoever this person is that is coming into a family is going to be creating a whole lot of drama for this family. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, your birthday reading will come up in the week of the twenty, the twentieth on the twenty sixth in that region. But you Tauruses, you gotta be aware. So choose crystal one, the crystal above you, to find out what you're going to be dealing with in this year. And I would say ask for a birthday reading, Tauruses, because that is going to give you bold to bold from May until April 2022 to know what is coming up. Because whoever this um, person that is married in your family or came in your family, as far as it is bringing drama in your family and in your family world, okay? So you got to be aware of you got to be aware. This is a situation where some of you Tauruses could be dealing with a Pisces. And whatever this Pisces is and whatever is transpiring, this could be a man, a Pisces man. And this Pisces man have someone else. So if you are a Taurus that is married to a Pisces, this person have a third party. And this person family is jealous of you. So you got to be aware. You got to be on top of your game. And you got to recognize who this person is. Okay. It could be that this, this 
but this person marry in your family whoever this person is it doesn't have to be a Pisces it is someone and I see a whole lot of jealousy is coming to you from another family and you gotta be recognizing what is happening to you so use crystal one then you go and you choose another one of these crystal that speaks to you because you need to find out what is coming up in your year 2021 going to 2022 all right it is your solar year all right we're moving forward to the second week the second week is the 27th of april until the 3rd of may 22nd of april until the 3rd of may okay so what is transpiring is that a lot of you ladies is dealing with a very disturbed um, person from another country. Whoever this person is, is very jealous and very disturbed. Very jealous and very disturbed. And whoever you ladies are, um, um, you Taurus ladies, that is born um, between May 20... Um, April 27th and May 3rd, you got to be recognizing, but there is going to be a resolution. There will be a resolution. And whoever this person is, is very disturbing and try to steal from you. A very disturbing person that tried to steal from you. So Taurus women and men, be aware of a woman. Whoever this woman is, it's, 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 um, it could be a, a not another Taurus person, but it could also be a Capricorn. And whoever this person is is very is from another country, another city. And this person tried to steal a whole lot of money from you or try to take your money. And they're going to be finding this else. It's a very, very jealous person. This person is very jealous and inconsiderate. So Taurus men and women, you are going to be dealing with a very jealous another Taurus. So person from another country and um, they weren't born in the same country as you are and um they you know they they were so jealous and tried to work against you so and uh, this is a very jealous woman and this very jealous woman is from another country and this woman tried to ruin your life and you're going to be dealing with her in this year. So whether you're a man or a woman, the energy of the Buddha, you need to choose the energy of the Buddha because the energy of the Buddha is going to be alerting you as to what this, uh, what to do and what was happening. And it's going to be giving you some really good message to help you to move forward in this solar year so men or women especially you women you are dealing with a very jealous person from another country whoever this person is is very jealous and it's coming up as another um it, it, it's coming up as a virgo person a virgo it's coming up as a virgo another taurus um a virgo person or another taurus person and whether this Virgo person is or another Taurus person, you got to be aware of this person because this person is extremely jealous, okay? So be aware of that. Use the energy of the Buddha in order to investigate who is this person. And then you can choose another one of the crystal. You guys are the only one that gets to choose two crystals, okay? But a resolution is going to be coming in this year because you're going to be standing your ground and make sure some sort of a resolution come in in order to remove this person out of your existence okay you're going to be dealing with this person in this year and putting this person at peace and rest so that they can remove out of your existence and not block your financial stability wonderful wonderful energy let's move to the people who were born um 4th of may until the 11 the 10th of may 4th of may until the 10th of may people who were born the 4th of may until the 10th of may i see a lot of distress the five of cups is in reverse distress what is the energy of the five of cups the energy of the five of cups is more mars in cancer and there was a whole lot of secrets on the work floor a lot of you are distressed because you recognize a whole lot of secret was on the work floor, but it is going to be coming out. Mars in Cancer is about uh, secrecy, okay? Anything that has to do is about things uh, that was kept, emotional situation, but also emotional situation. 
in your life, in your personal life, and at the work. There was some sort of a secrecy and emotional situation. Now, a whole lot of desperation, but this is going to be over. So let's say that you had emotional problems with relationship at home, emotional problems with your marriage, emotional problems at the workplace with people keeping secrets from you. This is all going to be coming out. This desperation is going to be over. And long-term stability is going to be coming in. So it could be that a lot of you were worried about a new contract. Let it go. This new contract is going to be coming in. A lot of you were worried about your marriage. Let it go because it's going to be coming in. The thing about Mars is that Mars and Saturn, especially Mars, because this is Mars in Cancer, I see a Cancer is going to be removed out of your life, okay? Um, definitely. All right, so definitely a cancer is going to be removed out of your life. Whoever this cancer is, is now in desperation. Because if you recognize where the desperation is, who is desperate? It's no longer you, okay? This desperation is going to be moving out of your life. And I see that now a cancer is very desperate at something that they have done. And you, Tauruses, are going to be having your long-term stability because your desperation is going to be moved and someone else is taken. Mars in Cancer is a situation where there has been some sort of an issue, problems dealing with a Cancer. And this Cancer is going to be removed out of your life and your long-term stability is going to be returned. Some of you, a Cancer and a Sagittarian was creating a whole lot of issue and now there is desperation for a Cancer and a Sagittarian that was creating a whole lot of problems for you Tauruses. So if you were born May 10th until May 4th until May 10th, your desperation that you were having dealing with a Sagittarian and a Cancer on the work floor is going to be disappearing. Whether or not this Cancer or the Sagittarian um, was in your work life or in your private life, you are letting go of these people. You are no longer holding this desperation of, uh, you know, when these people are just going to be leaving my life. You are going to be leaving this situation and removing yourself away from this problem. And a tower moment, Mars is bringing in an end in some sort of a secrecy that a Cancer and a Sagittarian have had in your world. And it's going to be letting you go and releasing you and bringing back long-term stability for you. So yay, yay, yay. This is a really powerful, powerful alignment of energy because what this is saying is that whatever these people were um, you know, conjunction and how these people work together in order to create a whole lot of issues and problems for you. This is going to be released because now people are going to be recognizing um, that these two people have got you Tauruses in um, some sticky little dealings that you were not open for. So there we are. You can check out the crystal above you. Um, this is really, I call it the uh, the mountain crystal you can check out the energy of the mountain crystal and then you can choose any other of uh, the three that is over um you get to choose two crystal because it's your birthdays and it's your season all right let's move to the people who were born may 11th until may 20th okay this is going to be good all right, so you Tauruses that are looking for love, yay, 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 love is here. Um, a lot of love is going to be offered to a lot of you if you are, um, you know, you were, you know, single looking to mingle. Yes, it's going to be here in um, for you guys. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's going to be absolutely powerful. Um, this is a really positive year. Um, that is coming up for you guys because right after your birthday is when your solar year begin. So this is what I was saying to a lot of you. You can still ask for a birthday reading. It's just $85. It's $85 that you are going to think is the best 
eighty-five dollars I've ever spent. It is something that is going to be holding you a lifetime. This reader is going to be helping you throughout the whole year, month by month, bowl by bowl. Um, your money area, your financial area, um, you know, your relationship. Or, uh, career, it's going to be absolutely, absolutely powerful. So, um, all of your birthday readings is not too late. Birthdays are all through the year. Um, some people take the year reading and some people take the birthday because they are like business people, entrepreneurs that wants to, um, you know, back, back up in every month and know what is coming up. So some people do take the year reading. I stopped the year reading from the 31st of March. So you can only get birthday readings now. If you're a business person, check out the business channel. I help to reorganize, reorganize business and help you to create new business for yourself. All right. So let's look. Love is in the hair. Love is in the hair. New business relationship, new contract, new partnership for you. Um, Tauruses that was born May 11th until May 20th. This is absolutely fabulous. It is a good year that is coming up for you guys. So let's see what is coming out. All right. So I see some of you who were dealing with a cancer is going to be sudden. Whatever and whoever this cancer is, whatever this cancer man or woman have done, I see sadness for um, you men. So you men could be divorcing or you men, some sort of a relationship didn't go well or some sort of a partnership or business deal didn't go well and it's going to be hitting a lot of you men. Okay. So you men are going to be having a whole lot of sadness in relationship, marriage, that divorce, uh, relationship that never went well, partnership, business partnership. A lot of you are going to be hit by that. So it's going to be affecting men. In the reverse, women, you're good. There we go. So women, you are going to be um, very good. A lot of you men, it is, uh, you know, it is your luck to be removed out of this relationship and, um, you know, see it as luck. For women, you're going to be very, very lucky. So women that was born May um, 11th until May 20th, you're going to be extremely, extremely lucky. I see sadness is going to be coming up for a cancer. It's as if whoever this cancer is, this cancer had created some sort of a problem. And this cancer is connected, whether it's your father or your husband. It's coming up as a father, husband, or a cancer boss. I see sadness for this person. And you, Tauruses, are going to be very lucky because whatever this person has created in your world and has really, really set you um, back, you are going to be regaining your luck. So congratulations. Um, this is looking as a powerful year. Um, whatever new contracts you, you women were looking for. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be coming out. Men, you will have that, but it is as if you men are hit by relationship issues and problems. So. What a Taurus season. Um, Tauruses, I love you guys so much. Please remember to thumbs up, show your love, thumbs up, leave a message. Come back every um, week in order to see what is coming up. Sometimes in the birthday readings, um, because it is the whole uh, four weeks, each and every person get four different readings. So come back and look at your readings. These are good to help you to work with the energy. Check out your monthly readings that is coming up. I gotta go. I love you guys. Um, namaste. <laughs>